I wanted to show you kind of the cool vantage points or new views as you walk around. You can see we've got the big urn there. We can see that big wide waterfalls there. And we're just starting to get a glimpse of the side profile of that big tall waterfall on the left of that big urn. So as we keep walking, you can start to see that back frame rock on the very back side of that big urn. And as we keep walking, now we're starting to see that waterfall over there. And I'm walking down and around the same way the customer would. As you can see, as the viewing angle changes, you're starting to see new things in the water feature. Notice how the big wide waterfall that's just behind that rock right there has now disappeared. But the little waterfall right there is now visible, whereas earlier it wasn't. What is up everybody? It is the beginning of another crisp, 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 crisp. It's the beginning of another crisp morning out here. Beautiful Palos Park, Illinois. We are going to continue rolling on this beautiful water feature out here. We had a lot of progress made yesterday. We ended up framing in some of these steps yesterday that are gonna lead back up to the house, back up there. This is that sunken fire pit area that we had talked about earlier in the video. We've got this waterfall almost all the way built, but we are gonna refocus our attention this area in through here and get this retaining wall done so that we can get all of the dirt back up in there and then probably refocus our energy and efforts on this waterfalls up here we have a lot of tedious work that's already been done but will continue to get done you can see there's a lot of this stack slate work in through there that is tying some of these rocks back together where they didn't necessarily butt up to other rocks and joint up very well the guys did an incredible job just kind of tightening that up I love the attention to detail I love the moss that they're kind of plugging in there you can kind of see over here as well what that stack slate is also doing is it is reinforcing this design element of using the stack slate urns which is a, obviously an engineered product but you can see how well that stack slate mimics that stack slate so really really cool effect we're going to continue to do more of it just to tighten up some of these joints in through here and help build some of these waterfalls the rest of the way out but it is just turning out very 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 beautifully and a little out of breath i guess i should breathe when i'm talking to you guys and girls out there but excited about the progress you made yesterday today is the the last day before a weekend so we are hoping to crush it today that's the plan we're sticking to it for now we may deviate from it a little bit because that's what we do we adapt and overcome here on projects just wanted to give you a heads up that that's what's up for today All right, well, we are at the end of the day. We're just kind of wrapping things up here and I wanted to show you some of the progress that we made. I know this morning we had talked about refocusing our energy on the waterfalls, which we did, but it wasn't until after working on kind of doing some retaining wall work for this upper pond area over here. We needed to establish some elevations and I really just wanted to kind of button some of this up so you can kind of see behind me the scale of the wall and the size of some of these rocks. Now it's not a finished product yet, but I wanted to show you you the reason why we put some of these rocks here so I want you to look at that elevation right there which is the patio coming out of the house now right now I am sitting at eye level with that patio this rock and this rock right here are going to establish the grade for that patio remember our pond is gonna be up there so I needed to have some of these retaining stones set over here to hold back the dirt that will establish the grade or the elevation up here for the pond you can see a set of three steps that come up through here this will lead you to a pathway that bends around this rock right here bends around that way and then there will be another set of stairs not sure how many because I'm not sure what the elevations are gonna work out to be but a set of stairs that will lead you back up to that doorway right there also notice that there are some large gaps between these retaining wall boulders and what these gaps that are filled with soil are intended for are these plant pockets in through here so that we can really soften up some of these big craggy looking pieces of weathered limestone so you've got a plant pocket here here right there over there will be a plant pocket all up in through here I wanted to make sure that we left enough space between the pond and rock work inside the wetland filter there and the main part of the pond I wanted to have a landscape buffer between these rocks and the water feature up top to be able to soften all that also what I wanted to show you what we worked on at the end of the day was the waterfall so you've already seen a lot of this stuff in through here we ended up buttoning up the whole reservoir area which has geotextile 
textile fabric or a geo grid over the top of the aqua blocks and then we put the gravel on top of that some of the foaming has happened already with our bib liners that's what you see all the fabric in through there which will be covered with gravel we've got some lights in place we've got this urn which is already plumbed with an inch and a half line in through there that will fill this whole thing and then we're gonna have a ribbon fall dropping here and then another one dropping that way and then this urn frames out that waterfall right there now, with that being said, of this urn being a frame rock, that urn up there is also a frame rock for one of the top waterfalls. So what I really love about this top section is we're gonna have a myriad of stuff happening in through here. We've got a big wide waterfalls right there at a lower elevation. And then over here, we are having this urn, which we are going to plumb, also acting as a frame rock for two waterfalls. One waterfall is going to be this big, huge, massive boulder right here um, you can see we've got a high point there so the water is going to channel between here and the urn and drop down in through here pulling up in here and flowing behind me also this urn frames out this waterfall right there which you can only see from the fire pit the reason i like this waterfall only being seen from the fire pit is you're creating mystery and these little nuances and everywhere you turn or as you walk around the garden or the landscape you're noticing all these different new things that you can't necessarily see from every single area so there will be water ripping between between the urn and that high spot on the rock there, down and through here, it'll twist around this rock right here, twist around this way, and then end up dumping in with this waterfalls coming down through here. So I'm gonna walk over to the viewing area and re-explain. I wanted to show you kind of the cool vantage points or new views as you walk around. So right now, I am standing basically on the far edge of their outdoor living space. This is all going to be a very, 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 and I mean very cool, and usable space that they can use 365 days a year because they've got these big glass doors that drop down but it can be open air almost like a cabana or something out here during the summer months i'm going to take the camera and kind of walk with you let me zoom in here a little bit so i'm just going to walk the perimeter of this outdoor living space over here and i'm going to show you with the camera what my eyes see as i'm walking so you can see we've got the big urn there we can see that big wide waterfalls there there, and we're just starting to get a glimpse of the side profile of that big tall waterfall on the left of that big urn so as we keep walking you can start to see that back frame rock on the very back side of that big urn and as we keep walking we're getting a better view of that waterfall and this one's starting to disappear only getting a side profile and as we keep talking and walking and walking and walking now we're starting to see that waterfall over there and I'm walking down and around Around the same way the customer would as you can see as the viewing angle changes you're starting to see new things in the water feature notice how the big wide waterfall that's just behind that rock right there has now disappeared or is no longer visible but the little waterfall where is it right there is now visible whereas earlier it wasn't again always taking into account viewing angles creating that mystery always changing directions so the big thing is really just creating that mystery capturing all viewing angles or all potential angles of viewing is such a huge thing to take into consideration when designing these water features and putting them together it's a chess match okay so there's a lot of times where we're billy goating back and forth to set a rock come back to the viewing area look go to another viewing area look at it a lot of times we'll spin it okay we're striving for perfection and the only way to do that is to keep reviewing our work and making sure there's nothing less than perfect. With that said, we're gonna go ahead and clean up the street, get all of our tools together, and we'll be back Monday. All right then. What is up everybody out there? It is the beginning of another crisp, beautiful fall day out here. Actually, it feels a little bit more like winter, but it is still fall here in Chicagoland and we are ready to keep rolling on this Palos Park project. So today we have the waterfalls to finish. We'll probably end up finishing all the retaining walls as well before we start moving up into this upper area where I am standing, which will be the pond. Without further ado, let's keep going.
right, so we made what feels like a lot of progress and then we stand back and look and it was definitely a lot of progress today. We got the waterfalls almost all the way built. We've got some retaining wall work done over here. We got some finished work done. The plumbing's figured out. We've got our spillways in. The stack slate urns are all put together. Really, really happy with how it came out today. We lost, nobody really knows. Anyways, we're about two days into daylight savings time and it is 4.45 and it is starting to get dark. So we are going to skedaddle on out of here and hit it again hard tomorrow and really get this thing buttoned up so that when the rest of the crew gets here, they can work on all the finishing touches and we can refocus our energy on digging the pond out tomorrow. Fingers crossed that everything goes well and that we get everybody back and we are out of here.